You think I'm ignorant of what you're up to because you haven't discussed this scheme with me as you ought to have done. When have I ever been so easily bamboozled? I believe you when you insist that amending the Constitution and abolishing slavery will end this war. And since you are sending my son into the war, woe unto you if you fail to pass the amendment. Seward doesn't want me leaving big muddy footprints all over town. No one has ever lived who knows better than you. Now, when I had heard, of course, that the role was Elizabeth Keckley, I, I had heard her name before, but I really, I'm embarrassed to say this, I really didn't know anything about her, so I did a very quick study of her online. And I remember um, seeing a, a photo of Matthew Brady, who was, of course, the iconic photographer of that time, that really captured who this woman was. There was a certain level of uh, dignity that she always had, even as a young girl or as a young woman, and she kept through her whole life into her 80s before she passed. So I had an essence, I felt this essence of this kind of strength and dignity that this woman had, and I and uh, I went to the office and we did one scene on tape, and, and uh, I felt um, just from the feeling in the room after the audition, I felt like it, like I was this with her, do you know? And I, apparently, Stephen felt the same way. Mrs. Baker. Madam President, if you please. Oh, don't convene another subcommittee to investigate me, sir. I'm teasing. Smile, Senator Wade. She had to be able to be, you know, to be kind of the emotionally equanimous one, right? She dealt with a lot of high-strung Caucasian women who wanted to, you know, highly demanding, some of them highly intelligent, but highly emotionally volatile. So we, what we do know of Mary Todd Lincoln is that she was all of those things. We can't tell our people they can vote yes on abolishing slavery unless at the same time we can tell them that you're seeking a negotiated peace. It's either the amendment or this Confederate peace. You cannot have both. How many hundreds of thousands have died during your administration? Congress must never declare equal those whom God created unequal. But since he had wanted to make this film for so long, do you know, he, there was such joy that he uh, embodied and that he exuded on a daily basis because it, it was like a kid in a candy store. You know, he was making his this movie that he's been wanting to make. And clearly with the talent that he had with Daniel and everybody, I mean, every single cast member learned everything they could about the person whom they were playing. I mean, it was just the most extraordinary thing. And, you know, there's a cast list that is just above and beyond.